Hey everyone, you guys know what it is. It is a pattern review for this faux wrap bodice dress utilizing Simplicity 9329. So listen, I love that back. That back is sexy, but you guys know I'm a modest person. So let's go ahead and talk about it, shall we? You guys, if you guys didn't know, this is a collaboration with my girl Rebecca on Instagram at Ankara.Rack. Now listen, she has gorgeous Ankara print. She has been spotlighted so many times in the UK. She in, she's based in the UK as well. So if you are a UK subscriber and you look at me and you want some Ankara fabric, please head over on Instagram at Ankara.Rack so you can see what she has that you could purchase on Etsy. I'll also leave all of her details, her Instagram handle, as well as her et Etsy store in the description box below. Also, I do wanna mention for my US followers, if you are in the US, you cannot purchase from um, at Ankara.Rex because she is only shipping to the UK. Now she will eventually probably, you know, start shipping to the US at some point, but at this time, it's just only UK. If you're looking for an Ankara fabric in the US, there are some great, amazing vendors that I go through. I have mentioned them before. I will also put that in the description box below. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we are doing a pattern review for Mimi G's pattern, Simplicity 9329. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So, without further ado, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning for, you know, another time, go grab you some coffee, some tea, some water, whatever you want to drink and come back and chill with me as I take you along this process of this pattern review and how I sew this pattern. And if you are just chilling and you have not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor of subscribing to the channel if you like what you see and you could come back and see more of me and content, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with this pattern review, starting with the pattern description. All right, so for this pattern description, the pattern that I use is Simplicity 9329, which is this pattern right here, because you guys are visual, I'll put it up on the screen as well. This is a Mrs. Dress pattern that has your full wrap bodice. It also has your princess seams along the front. It has elbow length puff sleeves. You also have that deep V in the back, a invisible zipper in the back as well, and then you have pockets. So this dress comes together very, very easy for sure. So that is the pattern description for this pattern. Let's go ahead and talk about the skill level. Now on the Simplicity website, it's rated as easy. Do I feel this is easy? Yes and no. I feel that it's easy if you follow along with Mimi G while she does the tutorial, but if you're reading the instructions, I do not feel a beginner would be able to sew this. I feel that this is more like an intermediate beginner sewist if you are not following along with the tutorial that Mimi G does, okay? But that is just, you know, what I think about it or whatnot. But yes and no, I feel that yes is easy, but can be, there are some instructions that can be time consuming. All right, let's talk about the fabric use. So the fabric use for this pattern is 100% Ankara print. I picked this pattern, I'm sorry, I picked this fabric up from Wax Prints Lace and More a while ago. So I purchased a total of 12 yards of this fabric for myself. The original plan was to do a wrap skirt utilizing Simplicity 8606 and also make a peplum as well. I don't remember the pattern number that I was going to do, but this was supposed to be used for both a wrap, uh, ruffle top and a ruffle skirt. 
I decided against it and decided to use this for this full wrap bodice dress, all right? And I'm glad I did because the fabric works super nice with this uh, pattern as well, all right? Let's talk about the Notion shoes. So the Notion shoes for this pattern, you just need a 19, I'm sorry, a nine inch invisible zipper. Now, I use the nine inch invisible zipper, but you also need five eighths. Now on the pattern, it says you need five eighths yards of three eighths inch elastic for the um, sleeves, that sleeve casing that you have at the sleeves. However, I did not use three eighths. You guys know I use what's in my stash, okay? So I use a half an inch um, seam, well, a half an inch elastic in order to do that. Reason being is because you're going to sew the uh, sleeves, the sleeve casing at three fourths of an inch seam allowance. And because you do that, you can get a half of an inch seam allowance or a half an inch elastic inside there. So that's why I use the half an inch instead of what they wanted you to use of three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So that's what I did for mine. Let's go ahead and talk about pattern sizing. So this pattern comes in two envelopes. The first envelope is six through 14. The second envelope is 16 to 24. The size that I cut was a size 18. Um, the reason why I cut a size 18 is because the bus gave me a finished garment measurement of 42 and a half. And because I knew I wasn't going to wear a bra with it, it's perfect for it. The fit is spot on with the 42 and a half. Now, when it comes down to the waist, it is a little big in the waist because the waist measurement, um, the finished garment measurement for the waist was a 36. My waist is a 33. So it gave me a lot of room in the waist which I'm not mad about it, but I could have taken it in a little bit more, but I did not want to disrupt the deep V in the back. I did not want to disrupt being tight or any of that. So I just left it as is, which means did I make any modifications? No, I did not make any modification. I just sewn it straight out of the package with no modifications whatsoever. All right, let's talk about, did it look like the photos or the drawing on the pattern envelope? Yes, it does. I am super happy with the way that the fabric and the pattern talk to each other and came out very well, all right? <laughs> are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, the instructions are easy to follow. Um, there is one portion in the instructions that's not clear, which is why I went to Mimi G's tutorial just for that section, but other than that, I use pretty much the instructions instead of the tutorial simply because the day that I was doing this, I had spotty internet. For some reason, they were working on some internet and I don't know what was going on in my area, but the um, internet was spotty that day. So I got frustrated. I just looked at the section where you attach the um, front, the side front and the back pattern pieces or whatever. Um, and that was all I looked at from Mimi G. The rest of it, I had to read, okay? <laughs> so it's basically, yes, the instructions are easy to follow, but the sew along is there if you need to follow the sew along. Let me get back up and go back to pattern pieces. So for the pattern pieces, I used 12 pattern pieces. I used all the pattern pieces in the envelope, and I did, I believe it was view A with the tie in the back. So that's the, yes. I did view A with the tie in the back, which is the longer view that's to your knees, okay? Or a little bit above the knees or whatnot. All right, so let's talk about first time experiences. Did I have any first time experiences? Absolutely not. I have done everything um, in this pattern before. Now, let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes. So let's talk about the dislikes first. So the first dislike is how deep the V is in the back. So. I really wish Mimi would have done a second back option for this pattern, which she did not. She just made a length variation of shorter or longer. Um, so that was one of the dislikes that I like because I am more of a modest person. So this dress would be used as a date night or I could see this as a date night or a brunch date, which is I wore this dress yesterday, Saturday. Um, which, you know, I'm recording this Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Okay. So I wore this 
for a breakfast brunch with a neighbor and also a so sister. Hey, Tanisha. Um, so, uh, F craft money. Um, but we had a fun time and she seen this dress. She's like, Oh girl, I love that dress. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tanisha. But yeah, I wore it yesterday doing that breakfast brunch situation. And when I left, I got stopped so many times on, you know, when I went next door to pick up some cupcakes and <laughs> everyone stopped me and was like, I love that dress. So I would wear this dress pretty much for a date night with my husband because it does have an opening back. So I wouldn't wear it to like, you know, any place else, I guess you could per se. But that was the first dislike that I did not like. The second dislike that I do not like, like I love the sleeves, but the amount of pleats that you have to do in the sleeves was, ugh. It was time consuming <laughs> to be honest. So the pleats are going upward towards the sleeve cap instead of downward. So I want to say there was probably about five pleats you needed to create for the sleeves. It's a lot of pleats for sure, but it is a great detail for this dress. Okay. So I did like that. It's a dislike for how many pleats, but I love the style of the pleats and the sleeves and all of that good stuff, you know, so I did like that part. All right. Let's talk about likes. So I love this dress. Okay. Outside of the deep V and the pleats, I love this dress for sure. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about what I sew it again. Yes, I would sew it again with modifications. So one of the modifications I would do would be to close up the back a little bit. I would do that. Um, another thing that I would do for this dress is change out the sleeves. Instead of making pleats, I would probably do just gathers around the sleeve to where I'm not pleating so much. I think I, that's what I would do. And instead of the skirt, I would make it either a two piece where we have the top and then some um, shorts or pants at the bottom or just make it like a jumpsuit with the back opening, one or the other. I'm not sure exactly what I would do exactly, but yes, I do plan on sewing this again. Would I recommend this pattern to others? Absolutely, I would recommend this pattern to others. If you have this pattern, pull it out and sew it up, all right? And my pattern rating. My pattern rating is a four out of five. Now I'm not rating it four out of five for a dislike. It's because I feel like we should have had a um, second back option for those of you who are modest and just do not want to sew it up because of that deep V. Um, I think it should have been a second option. That's just my opinion, but I think this dress is really, really cute. Also, I want to give a shout out because this is in collaboration with Rebecca on Instagram at and car dot racks. So go to her Instagram post so you can see what she sewed up for Simplicity 9329. Well, I hope you enjoyed this pattern review. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.